Hi everyone, as part of the basics of LRDI series that I have started for CAT 2023, so I will be discussing uh, you know LRDI sets based on quantitative reasoning, charts and graphs, team formation and grouping. So we will be taking up these questions today at 8 pm. The link of the session has been provided in the description. It's completely a free session as mentioned over here. Now let me show you the case lists or the questions that we are going to discuss during the session today. So uh, you can give a try for these questions and then you can watch that video or you can join me for that session or if you are watching this video later on then you can directly watch that video. So yes, let's look at the first set of today's session. Um, so it's it's a nice tricky set guys. Uh, similar set has been asked in CAT and had both the exams earlier. So it's about a special test called fail test. Okay, it has 50 multiple choice questions. Each question has four options and the marking scheme is plus four minus one. So if someone answers correctly, then he'll get four marks or if it's a wrong answer, then one mark will be deducted. Now, whatever score you get is called a raw score. So there are two concepts over here, raw score and final score as mentioned over here, uh, final IQ score and the raw score. So let me quickly help you understand what is a raw score and what is the final IQ score, final IQ score. Okay. So for example, someone answered 30 question correctly and 10 question uh, incorrectly. Okay. So he'll get 30 into four, that is uh, 120 marks. And uh, you know, out of that, this uh, 10 marks will be directed. So his raw score will be 110. Now this 110 is nothing but his raw score. Now you just need to add 50 in that to get the final score. Now here, here you can give a thought that why they are adding this 50 marks. In case if you could make out, please post it in the comment section. Uh, otherwise I'll explain during the session also. So this is how this calculation is done. Now the most important part of this set is these last three lines which confuses most of the students, last four lines. Two people with the same score having same number of questions correct are deemed to have achieved the score in the same way irrespective of which specific question they have answered correctly or wrongly. However, two people with the same score but with different number of questions correct are deemed to have achieved the scores in two different ways. That means if someone got, uh, someone got score of 20 marks, okay, raw score, let's talk about raw score because final score is just by adding 15 to that. So someone got a raw score of 20 marks, okay. So uh, 20 marks can be obtained by answering five question correctly. So it doesn't matter which five question you are answering correctly, but if you have answered five, or if there are three students who have answered five questions correctly, then we can say that they have got the score in the same way. But if one student has answered five questions correctly and no question incorrectly, another student has answered six correct questions and four incorrect questions. Still both of them will get 20 score. So we can say these two students have obtained the score in different ways. So that's the uh, main trick of this question. That was the uh, crucial part of this particular set. So now you look at the question one by one and try to answer them and then verify your answers during the session or you can watch the video. Okay, link has been provided in the description. In case if you are downloading Anakinmi app for the first time, then you can use unlock code chart 10 as mentioned in the description. Okay, so here is the first question. Then comes uh, the second question. So you can pause the video over here, give a thought about that. If you want, you can post your answer in the comments also. Okay, and a third question. So I'm just displaying for 10 seconds each question so that you can quickly take a glance while solving. Fourth question, then the fifth question and sixth question. Okay, so we'll be discussing all the questions in detail during that session at 8 p.m. So make sure to join me at 8 p.m. on an Academy Learning app. Yes. Apart from that, before we look at the other sides, just want to tell you I have started this basics of math series. Uh, in fact, that series is over. So these videos are available on the YouTube. So you can check that basics of maths playlist for 2023. And for every session, I have provided a practice test, uh, which has uh, 25, 30 questions. So watch that video and then uh, take up the test. Once again, this is completely free and you will find the test links in the description as well. So you can try for that also. Make sure that you have tried this test. It will definitely lay a strong foundation for your preparation. You can also share it with your friends. And apart from this, uh, this offer is uh, going on. So you can get maximum discount using my code chart. So go for that. Uh, in case if you are watching this video today itself, then I am conducting one uh, preparation strategy session. It's one-on-one -on -one discussion session on Google Meet. Uh, so that's happening at 9.30. 
so yeah check uh, that short that i have released or be here on youtube at 9 30 and i'll share the link once again okay guys let's look at sat 2 of today's uh, session and this is actually a very easy question but uh, you know it uh, requires sharp observation so it's about cumulative data the bar graph below provides a cumulative number of goals scored in interclub football series which lasted for seven weeks by three football players a b and c as recorded at the end of the week from week one to week seven so at the end of uh, every week they captured the goal and they displayed the data now if you see for example if you look at player a so in the first week his goals were seven so in week one definitely he has scored seven goals in second week the goal data shows 12 that doesn't mean he scored 12 goals in second week out of this 12 goals seven goals were from first week and then he scored five goals in the second week so this is called cumulative data okay you are actually considering the previous value and adding the new values okay so that's the only thing in the set please give a try and then verify your answers with me so here is the first question of the set then comes the second question and the third question and this is the fourth question of the set okay so once again for every question you can pause the video and you can give a try and you can post your answer in comments or join me for the session verify okay the session will remain available the link that i provided uh, okay in case if you are watching this video six months down the line you can still watch that okay so don't worry fine guys now uh, this is a slightly tricky set i'll call it lod 2.5 so yeah let's look at that it's calculation based gi and there is a bit of logic also so bar chart one gives the percentage share of all the five chocolate making companies that is nestle hershey ferrero mars and lotto in the total quantity of chocolate sold in a particular country so it's about one country and uh, some companies which are selling chocolate so there are five companies okay so uska data aapko yahan pe diya hua hai ke nestle ka share jo hai wo 28 percent hai matlab agar ye country mein कंट्री में अगर टोटल 100 चॉकलेट्स बिके हैं तो उसमें से 28 चॉकलेट्स नेस्ले के बिके थे एंड सेंस ऑफ फॉर रिमेनिंग फोर कंपनीज नाउ बारचा टू गिव्स द परसेंटेज शेयर्स ऑफ ऑल द 11 स्टेट्स एस वन टू एस इलेवन ऑफ दैट कंट्री गाइस ये कंट्री में 11 स्टेट्स ही है ओके और उसके वो इलेवन स्टेट्स का टोटल कंट्री के चॉकलेट सेल में क्या हिस्सा था वो बताया तो देखो अगर कंट्री में 100 चॉकलेट्स बिके थे तो स्टेट वन में 12 चॉकलेट बिके थे ओके और ये 12 चॉकलेट किसके हो गए तो इसमें नेस्ले के कुछ हो गए हर्सले के कुछ हो गए फरेरो के हो गए मार्स एंड लोटो सब के हो सकते हैं है ना सो दिस इज द डेटा दैट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो ये स्कीपिंग दिस इन माइंड यू नो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी स्लाइटली ट्रिकी तो थोड़ा सा सोचो इसको और फिर मैं इसको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा इन दिस आर द काइंड ऑफ साइट्स दैट यू शुड बी प्रैक्टिसिंग इन ऑर्डर टू मास्टर दिस एल आर डी आई सेक्शन ओके सो ह्यूर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस साइट या देन कम्स द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड कम्स द last question of this set so give a try for this and uh, then watch the solution okay so guys uh, just want to tell you this new batch is starting from tomorrow so enroll for plus or iconic using code chart and if you wish to practice more such question with me because as you know i provide uh, you know um, different varieties of caselets for lrdi and i make sure that you get basic practice as well as the advanced level practice so if you want to continue learning with me join using my code chart and and have the comprehensive preparation of quantitative aptitude as well as lrdi for cat and all the other entrance exam make sure that all of you have joined this telegram channel so that you can get all updates about my upcoming session i'm starting a new series for cmat preparation that is the ace the cmat batch and even cat aspirants can join that and uh, learn the complete uh, quantitative aptitude over there because i'll be completing quantitative aptitude in that so yeah that's it from this video now see you at 8 pm don't miss that